you how you can get uh, our deducer or our Jaguar, both of them, up and running on your computer. So I'm assuming you already have RStudio installed. So go ahead and open up your RStudio. Um, what we're going to do is hit a command or a, to enter a command into the console here. Uh, what we do is we go to a web browser, and this is the website. Um, now the way that you can get there very nice and easily is just go to Google, type in install rdducer, and it's going to be the first website that you have. So copy this script here, uh, command C, control C, depending on uh, Windows or Mac. Go here, command V or control V to paste it, hit enter. And after a second or two, it's going to show you a bunch of numbers and stuff. And it should open Jaguar. I'll hopefully see it right here. Yep. So here we go. It's opening. It should show the data viewer in just a second. Now, uh, what to do, sir, actually is, is a couple of extra menu options and little extra functionality for Jaguar. As you can see, this is called Jaguar at the top left. We are actually running Jaguar. Um, but if you have problems, you don't see this data viewer, or you hit packages and data, you don't see data viewer right here then what you can do is go to Packages and Data, go to Package Manager. In my case, you see here I have Deducer and Deducer Extras. They're both loaded right now. They're both loading by default, so that's great. But if they were not, you could go to Packages and Data, go to Package Installer. From here, you just type in DED, brings you to Deducer. Then you can just highlight it and install it. Then you would go back again to your package manager and you would make sure that these are both loading by default by selecting this and then, yeah. So uh, anyway, there's a quicker way uh, that you can open up Jaguar every time. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, what you're gonna do here, again, I've already copied the script. So I'm gonna go to the top left here. I'm gonna open up a new R script. Now again, when you're titling anything with the script, you want a hashtag that tells R to ignore it. This is not a script, this is a title. So I'm going to call this um, Zach Super Awesome Jaguar Opening Script. Hit enter, and on the next line, I'm going to paste what I just used before. However, um, we've already installed these packages, so we don't need to install them again. So I'm just going to delete this line with the install packages. So we're just left with library Jaguar, Jaguar, and I'm going to hit Command S or Control S if you're in Windows. And I'm going to save it as Zach Super Awesome Jaguar Opening Script. Save that. Now, all you have to do from now on is just highlight this, click Run, and Jaguar is going to open up for you. And uh, just for your future reference as well, um, this script is going to be located back in our studio. It's going to be here on the right hand side. I've got different ones how to launch Jaguar, but all your scripts should be here under the files heading. So that's how you're going to open up Jaguar.